welcome back to Fallout 4. <laughs> All right. Yes, it has been rather quite a long time. Let me turn that radio off. Uh, I, well, I did finally find a mod that basically leaves the talking and whatnot, the announcer talking and the news reports, but it turns off all of the music because of the copyright issues on YouTube. And uh, Yeah, but I don't want him talking when I'm trying to talk. Anyway, to recap, I'm here in Gunner's Plaza, and as of the previous episode, I had stopped here in the broadcast booth as a halfway point, because there is still a bunch of Gunner's Plaza left to deal with, and so on. And a little bit of a recap, uh, let's see, oh yeah, I unloaded all my extra inventory and whatnot so that I could move again. Threw it in there and I pick it up on the way out. And anyhow, let's see, if I look at this, you can see where I'm at with uh, the specials and so on. I'm... Let's see, Gunslinger is one is at four right now, one point away from being top of the line. Sneak is at three, which that's pretty good. Gun nut at four. Armor at one. Locksmith is good for master locks. Rifleman is top notch and so on. Plus assorted little bits and bobs and so on. And of course, strong back four, which means fast traveling while over encumbered is a thing. I've got a uh, 10 millimeter and this is uh, this is the burning 10 mil sets targets on fire and then the combat rifle set up for low grade sniping and the newest edition the Gauss rifle which is doing pretty good. It's got 403 damage and it's I'm pretty sure it's not even modded out the max and of course ye old 50 caliber sniper yeah so doing pretty good there now I think it's time let's get on with the show here and get out of here and check the rest of this place out because there is still a lot of loot to deal with and quite a number of bad guys, etc. Yeah. Stealth Boy, I'll always take another one of those. Because I don't use them that much, but sometimes they do come in really, really handy. How about look good this one? Got a good it hits good and hard, but I can also shoot reasonably fast. Let's see. Yeah. I had been in here, I had finished up with the stairwell. Oh, I like that as a good sniper weapon. Railguns are excellent sniper weapons. And let's face it, they call it a Gauss rifle, but it is basically, for all intents and purposes, a railgun. Electromagnetic acceleration to take your projectile and get it going somewhere just under the speed of light. Or something kind of approximating that at least. So that little two millimeter projectile. It uh, packs quite a wallop. See, what have I got in the aid department? Uh, 
I got 10 Psychojet. That's going to be the main one. Let's turn on some orange Mentat. Oh, good. I got some berry Mentats. Yeah. Yeah. I like the berry Mentats. They let you know where your live targets are. Okay. Get this open. That's it. There we go. Speaking of targets, oh, ah, burnt trade magazines, nobody cares. What do we got here? Nice. Hey, I like that first try. Turn the turrets off. Another locked room. Nice. Apparently this locked room isn't quite so much of a mystery. Fat man launcher. Hey. You must be downstairs. We'll take care of you later. Hello. Okay. Three there, one in a room over that way. Who? Okay. Let's go down this way and hide for a moment. Let them forget that I'm here. I'll pick up all this pre-war money and other assorted loot. I don't know why I ever bother picking up folders and burned magazines, because there's never any use for them. Okay.
Okay, another one bites the dust. Looks like we got somebody down below. That's that entry area where I first came in. How about that? Okay. Okay, we got a shining person in here. X person. All right. Magazine, Guns and Bullets number three, which I believe was the reason for coming here in the first place. Was uh, to collect all of the issues of Guns and Bullets because it increases the critical damage that you do with uh, firearms. That's great. Okay, got one here, one here, don't care about the trade magazines, ah, excuse me, still dealing with a certain amount of cough, and uh, just on a for the record basis, at this point, I am uh, kind of uh, still early on in my quit smoking efforts. Uh, I'm recording these ahead of time because I am anticipating that Skyrim will, in some unknown but reasonably soon number of episodes, going to get to a point where continuing it as a regular series is going to be less than uh, a wonderful idea. And not that I'm going to completely stop it, but it'll be changing the way I'm doing it. So, I am starting to record Fallout once, ahead, once again, recording ahead of time so that I can have a bunch of stuff ready to go when it's needed. For some reason, that looked like uh, something else. But everything down there should be dead, because that's where I came in at. Grab all the loot, because loot is what makes the world go around. Even if we're talking about skeletal remains. I wonder why it is the folders can't be used for anything. I mean, seriously, folders, Burt magazines, they should at least be something that you could process in uh, as part of the thing of making cloth or something, you know? Really. At least that's how it seems to me. But, you do what you can. Okay, we do have somebody over that way. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, I've been all the way around. Don't quit your huffing and puffing. I need to get out that way. I 
believe. And come to think of it, if that's down on the entry level, that red down there is probably a protectron. All right. Heading out. See what we got outside here. Footsteps must be, oh yeah, up top, okay. I'll walk over to the other direction and I'll go out here and get this stuff and then get on that stairway. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay, there's my target, coming back this way, just in time for me to make their head explode. Poof! Instant giblets. All right. I don't think I need the elevator right this moment. Ah, here we go. Target over there, target over there, and the Barry Mantets just wore off. Start it up again. Give me the orange Mantats. Okay, great. Oh, come on, please, with the breaking things. Finally. Got it. Okay. Nice little bit of stuff here. Uh, 
Okay, over to the other side, there was another person over there. At some point, I need to get strong back up to level 5, because that way I'd be able to go farther before the huffing and puffing starts up. Alright. But at least the AP is regenerating reasonably quickly. You ever notice that when you undo, when you take the fusion core out of one of these, the only thing that shuts down is the generator? I mean, if that's truly providing most, if not all, of the power for this facility, shouldn't most of this facility go dark when you turn when you uh, pull the fusion core? And on the other hand. Wouldn't it be appropriate to be able to replace a fusion core if something was dark and you didn't want it to be? All right. Now, elevator time. There is, there is, I believe, still a basement level to this place, too, and I don't think I've been down there. Come on, elevator. Today, please. Basement. Ah. Okay. Keep shooting and quick saving. Who's there? Hi, let me introduce myself. My name is the Boogeyman. Okay, getting there. I want this one's head. Well, you can want in one hand and excrete in the other. And see which one fills up the fastest. Well, you must be in that little room.
Come on, shoot. Good night. See what's in here that they were in charge of or guarding or what have you. Not much. All right, what do we got in the terminal? How about a tries reset? That would be nice. Well, wait a minute. That's the only word left. Sweet. Oh, heck, all that to find out that I don't need to mess with it. All right. Through here. See if I got a doorway to, or a stairway or something that goes up there. Oh, yes, I do. So far, so good. And remember rule number one, quick save. Yes. That is, save with a quickness at least every once in a while. As far as your casualty wine, better you than me. Uh, 
Ah. Great big old hairy safe. Oh, boy. Sweet. Okay. Looks like we're done there. Done in here. Back out this way. And over here. Unlooted something or other. Corpses, too. It looks like there's a future corpse over there. There's nothing in here to deal with, but there's some stuff over there. A locked box, anyway. Come on. That's it. Okay. Now let's go deal with that future corpse. The corpse wannabe. Which I believe was over in this direction. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Got to be getting close to running out of things to do down here. Okay, that's it for the berry and mentats and the orange mentats for now. I am going to have to do something about fixing myself up with a good supply of that, uh, that stuff. They're just too handy to not have. Another elevator. This one probably coming up inside, inside somewhere. And I know the time has probably gone over. I haven't even been looking at the clock, which is a real bad thing. I should keep an eye on it for a, at least an approximation. We got somebody in there.
Yeah. I do like doing that. I don't want to bother reading the terminals right now. Yes, and here I am trying to quit smoking, and the game keeps throwing cigarettes at me. Cigarette carton here, three or four packs there, and so on. Yeah. Has no respect for a guy trying to quit, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think this right over here is probably about it. Then I can go back to the broadcast booth, collect my stuff from there, do a little bit of generic loot collection on the way out, and head back to the drive-in with all of my newfound treasure. The Starlight Drive-In, that is. Alright, which way... Oh, I need the other side. That's where the broadcast booth is. Back in here. All right, I'm going to get my stuff out of this box, head for the exit, do a little bit of general loot collection along the way, and make sure I didn't miss much of anything. And uh, then I'm just going to use my new fast travel while over encumbered to get back to the Starlight Drive-In, and I'll check in with you there, unless something significant happens between now and then. Alrighty, got back here without any major incident at all, actually with no incident, and I was wrong about the guns and bullets thing. Apparently this is the fourth one that I have collected this time out. Let's see, misc, guns and bullets, there we go, and also, in misc, there is the small guns bobblehead, which I forget what that gives me, but it's something I didn't have before. So, okay, uh, next up, I've taken a look as to where it is. The next issue of Guns and Bullets is at a place called the Rook Family House, which is, I think it's up this way, by the Museum of Witchcraft, which I haven't ever yet gotten to, so maybe I will get there this time or another. Yeah. In the meanwhile, I am going to process all the loot and get ready for the next trip, which for me should be starting up sometime in the next hour or so after I get this current episode edited and rendered out. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. <laughs>